Today we are talking about my Sigma FP rig as well as a quick review of the Andy Cine mini V-mount battery. But first, if you're new to the channel, my name is Anson and on this channel we talk about filmmaking, specifically budget gear, tutorials, and a look at the projects that I'm working on. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing. At long last, I'm finally breaking down my Sigma FP rig. I feel like I've been promising this for like a year plus. Also, I wanna get out of the way. I've been congested for like the past week, and so if I sound extra nasally, I know I probably sound nasally in general, but if I sound that little extra nasally, it's because I'm completely stuffed up and pretty freaking miserable right now. I'm also hopped up on Monster Energy Drink because I am i don't know why I did that. It's like six o'clock at night. I'm not sleeping tonight. Now, while I do talk about my rig, I am also gonna be taking a look at the Andy Cine Mini V-Mount battery, specifically the 95 watt hour battery. Now, I do wanna say that Andy Cine did send this battery over to me, as well as a V-Mount plate, which we'll talk about. But as always, they're not requiring to say anything specifically, and so you get my full and honest opinion, but that will come later on in the video. And so let's, die. I'm not ever doing this again. This is the cheesiest thing I've ever done. <laughs> So diving right in, let's talk about the core of the rig, basically what lives on the camera at all times. This is going to be a small rig cage. This is all based off the small rig cage. And I am using a small rig side plate to that cage as well to kind of help clamp in the micro HDMI as well as USB-C cables because Lord knows the micro HDMI is something that is just terrible about the Sigma FP because it's just so flimsy and so unreliable and so this does help with that having it clamped down in place and so moving on from the base of the rig let's talk about the top handle that I'm using the top handle I'm using specifically is the small rig top handle which is using the re3 pin connection this thing is not going anywhere and I love it and so that's what I'm using for the top handle along with the top handle I am using the small rig tilt and swivel for my monitor and the monitor that I'm using is the Blackmagic video assist 12g 5 inch and so that's that's what I'm using for my monitor recorder is the Blackmagic Video Assist 12G. Now talking about the cable that I use for the Video Assist, I am using a Condor Blue Micro HDMI to HDMI cable that is the coiled version and so that's what I'm using to transmit the video feed from the Sigma FP to the Video Assist. And to power the Video Assist, I'm actually just using some normal NPF batteries. Now moving on from the top of the camera, let's talk about the base of this rig. So to start off, I've talked about this before, but I am using a Camvate quick release system that's attached to a small rig base plate where I hold my rods. Now I did that originally for the Sigma FP because I couldn't swap out a battery very easily without taking it off the rig. But in the long run, that has actually allowed me to put a base plate on each one of my cameras and that way, I can easily slide off one camera and slide the other one on. And so that's been really beneficial over the course of time, kind of being able to interchange my cameras with this rig. But like I said before, I have that Canvate quick release attached to a small rig base plate and I'm using eight inch, I believe they're eight inch, 15 millimeter rods from small rig. They are the carbon fiber version. I just like the look of those a little bit more, uh, but that's what I'm using for the rods. Now I am using eight inches just because this is not really a shoulder rig. It's more of a run and gun rig that I do rest on my upper chest or shoulders and we'll talk about that here in a little bit but I am using eight inch rods now on the rods is where the fun starts to happen because on the front of the camera I am using some nicey rig side handles to help with stabilization I did only have one to begin with if you saw my 6k pro rig breakdown I was only using one of these nicey rig side handles but recently I did pick up a second one just to have a wider grip on the camera as well as serving as another point of contact it just made sense and when I put it on the ground it doesn't wobble around or anything like that. It's a little bit more secure when I do set the camera down. And so that's a newer addition to the rig is having a right side side handle from Nicey Rig. And I love these side handles. I've talked about these side handles before, but I love these side handles just because they're super comfortable. They have that wood finish and just really comfortable to hold on to. And with the FP specifically, it actually complements the small rig cage a little bit. Having that wood finish over on the right hand side with the side grip there 
really just makes for some nice consistency with this rig as well. And while we're at the front of the camera, something else I do want to address that's on my rig, and this is also a new addition to the rig, is the Tilta Mirage. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Mirage, this is a Tilta map box system that has a drop-in variable ND. Now, this is not a video about the Mirage, so I may talk about it in another video, but that's what I'm using on the front of the lens is the Tilta Mirage matte box. And so from there, let's go to the back of the camera, and that's where I wanna talk about this mini V-mount battery from Andy Cine. Now, Andy Cine did send this to me about a month or so ago. They sent the battery as well as this V-mount plate. Now, a couple of things I do like about this battery is obviously the long-lasting battery life, but it also offers two DTAP ports as well as a USB port. Basically, I have a DTAP to dummy battery solution for the Sigma FP. And one thing I love about the Sigma FP in general is when you use a dummy battery, you don't have to keep the door open. It does have this little just like hidden notch next to the door that you can pop out. Honestly, until using this battery, I didn't know that that was there. And so it's a nice little feature to have. And if I really need to power the video assist, I do have that second DTAP port, which I can run a cable from that battery to the video assist, offering some additional power. The other thing that's nice is it has a clear indicator of how much battery is left. You do have a button on the side of the battery that you can illuminate, kind of like an indicator, a level indicator of how much battery is left. And then the biggest thing for me is also just the overall size. I do like these mini V-mount batteries because while I'm offering a ton of power to my system, it's cutting down on a lot of that size. And so it doesn't add a ton of weight or it doesn't add a ton of bulk to the rig having the battery on the rig. And so that's a really nice thing to have as well. But the plate itself, of course, is serving as a V-mount lock for the battery, but you can also turn it around or if you wanna use the other side somehow, it does offer almost like a cheese plate that you can use to mount more things onto this rig. And so that's really nice to have as well. Overall, this is a really good battery. The battery itself is $170. I believe the plate is around $30 to $40, somewhere around there. And so with this combo, you're getting a V-mount battery and a mounting option for a pretty inexpensive price. And so that's something that's really nice to have a more budget-friendly option if you are looking at V-mount batteries. So I would definitely check out the Andy Cine Mini V-mount battery, specifically maybe the 95 watt hour battery. If you are looking for budget V-mount batteries, this is a great option. And so with this V-mount battery on the back of the camera, I have it mounted with the Andy Cine V-mount plate, and that sits on the back of the rig. Now it does cover up the screen, but I have it right at a point where I can basically look down on the screen and if I'm using the video assist a lot of the controls are done on the video assist in general but I can change some quick settings but mounting the battery that way what that does for me as well is it actually serves as another point of contact most of the time what I'll do is I actually rest the battery on like my upper chest area and so I'll have the side handles as two points of contact but I'll also have the battery as a third point of contact resting against my chest and it's just really comfortable I won't lie it's probably the most comfortable rig I've had in quite a while having those three points of contact has made for some really steady footage even with the fp that does not offer ibis but other than some of the alternate components or adapters i may be using that's really my sigma fp rig now please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about any of these components or maybe even the andy cine mini v-mount battery i can feel myself being more nasally I'm, i feel like i'm just like this like this is hey guys this is my sigma fp rig breakdown and uh i got i got nothing like god Anyways, but that being said, if you guys do have questions, let me know. And so that's it for me. You guys know what to do. Like, subscribe if you dug the video or digging the content. But more importantly, thank you all for joining. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. Stay safe. Be happy. Support each other. Wash those damn hands. And I'll see you here next time. Peace. I can't get you focused. You should be on auto focus. Hmm. Oh feel that it is would you guys subscribe to me if i sounded like this all the time i freaking sound so cool freaking a i sound like freaking urkel urkel is so cool though steven urkel you guys remember that if you're if you're a child of the 80s and 90s steven urkel coolest guy in the world just saying just saying mm -hmm.